Uh, let's uh, let's shift over to uh, this. Uh, I, I, it, it, it pains me to do so. That I think is what it is. Uh, you know, the Donald yesterday started with a fundraiser in California, flew down to Mexico City, and then back up to Arizona to give his signature immigration speech. And uh, uh, let's start with Mexico before we go to his mm. speech. Or maybe we should start with his speech. Let's, let's start with his speech. Uh, here's a, um, a, a brief look mm. at what the Donald had to say about how he's going to handle immigration going forward. We will build a great wall along the southern border. And Mexico will pay for the wall. On day one, we will begin working on an impenetrable, physical, tall, powerful, beautiful southern border wall. After meeting with their wonderful, wonderful president today, I really believe they want to solve this problem along with us, and I'm sure they will. I am going to create a new special deportation task force focused on identifying and quickly removing the most dangerous criminal illegal immigrants in America who have evaded justice, just like Hillary Clinton has evaded justice, okay? We are going to suspend the issuance of visas to any place where adequate screening cannot occur. I call it extreme vetting, right? Extreme vetting. I want extreme. It's going to be so tough. And if somebody comes in, that's fine, but they're going to be good. It's extreme. Countries from which immigration will be suspended would include places like Syria and Libya. Another reform involves new screening tests for all applicants that include, and this is so important, especially if you get the right people, and we will get the right people, an ideological certification to make sure that those we are admitting to our country share our values. And... I can't believe, well, <laughs> I mean, I'd like to think that, I mean, I've done a lot of interviews and, and it was always much better to allow somebody to hang themselves with stuff. Yeah. You know, what they say is so outrageous and I'd like to think that falls into that category. But, I mean, I, I mean, after the Brexit vote, yeah. Which I just don't know anymore. It scares I, I, the crap out of you. It just scares me. I yeah. mean, that stuff scares me, and he yeah. scares me. Yeah. You know, I, I, well, that 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 rubbish scares me. So we'll talk a little. Complacent. We'll talk a little bit later about you know the fact that you know he is so crazy, but he's still very close in the polls because Hillary's shooting herself. Mm. But um, I haven't seen anything like this since Hitler and Mussolini. To be honest, I mean, this is such. I mean, this is end of the Republican Party as we know it, much like mm. we're seeing with Labour here, is that, I mean, this party is literally going to split itself apart and go the way of the Whigs, uh, you know, the WHIG Whig party. Yeah, and because there are the main state, if I can put it that way, yeah. Republicans are against him big time. Aren't oh, they're they? against him, but they, they created him. And they thought he'd implode and they'd be able to control him, but you can't control something you create. And he well, that's destroyed the mainstream party. Thirties, isn't it? They thought they could control Hitler. Yeah. They couldn't, you know, and they can't. And this is, I mean, we are, you know, are we seeing history repeat itself? I don't know.